Trump is back. I mean, we know Trump is back. We've seen Trump being back. Uh, he's announced his candidacy for 2024, uh, but he's getting serious, and and uh, and I think uh, he's gonna he's gonna try to take advantage of the momentum of announcing first, and really no other Republican can uh, no other Republicans have announced. Uh, suddenly, uh, we've heard nothing from DeSantis. I have a sense the DeSantis is not going to run. I, 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 I fear that he is afraid of Trump and, and will stay out of it. We'll see what happens. Uh, one of those political predictions I'll probably regret. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> Trump is now asking, uh, officially asking uh, Facebook to be reinstated. Uh, there are rumors that he is going to be meeting with Zuckerberg in order to, uh, in order to, to convince Zuckerberg to let him onto the platform and uh, maybe set some ground rules uh, for his return to the platform. That should be interesting. Uh, he is about to relaunch his uh, Twitter. Uh, so he has been reinstated in Twitter, but as you, as you probably know, he has not used Twitter. He's been tweeting out of his truth network, but obviously he's looking for a much larger platform and for much larger influence. And uh, for that, he is, uh, he is going to reinstate his Twitter account and start being active uh, on Twitter, all this suggests, uh, uh, you know, real seriousness is on his uh, seriousness on his part uh, to engage in this campaign and to get going and to uh, and to win. I, I think I made a prediction uh, early in January that uh, Trump would win, um, and and I think so far it it, it looks like uh, he's the only candidate. So we'll see. But uh, in terms of polling. Uh, there were some polls last year that suggested DeSantis might be able to be beat Trump. Well, the latest polls are all showing Trump basically trun trouncing DeSantis. Uh, the latest poll shows him leading by 17 points over DeSantis, and everybody else is an, is 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 uh, you know barely a blimp on the screen. Trump gets 48 percent of the support according to this poll. Uh, DeSantis 31. Uh, and then, uh, and then people like uh, Pence, Cheney, Cruz, Nikki Haley get get nothing. Two, three. Mike Pence maybe gets eight percent, although I I doubt that's real. I doubt uh, Pence gets anything. So uh, yeah, well, off to the races, and it does seem like uh, Trump, you know, is is clearly the front runner, and uh, is uh, is aggressively um, aggressively pursuing this. Uh, whether whether DeSantis runs or not, we will see. I, I've, I have no inside information. I have no uh, additional insight. Uh, but he certainly is quiet. Um, we're certainly not hearing much from DeSantis. He's not commenting on the issues of the day. Uh, he's not commenting on issues of Trump. Uh, so uh, we'll see. I think he's he's playing it close to vest uh, in order to see how it all pans out. Mike, thank you for the support. Uh, Roosevelt, thank you for the support. Really appreciate you guys. Um, one last thing about Trump. I mean, what, what's what's really incredible about Trump, and and what's really, you know, what really needs to be studied about Trump, is just the unqualified support that he gets. The 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 fact is, you know, remember when he said, and I, I remember when he actually said this, and I was shocked at the time. He said he could shoot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue and it wouldn't matter. His support would not change. The support for him would not change. And it's true. I mean, it doesn't matter what Trump does. It doesn't matter what Trump says. It doesn't matter how stupid it is. It doesn't matter how, how obnoxious it is. It ma doesn't matter how irrational it is. Uh, it doesn't matter what he does. It, it, it doesn't matter what Congress does. It doesn't matter whether, uh, you know, whether his taxes are released or whether he is indicted. His company, his company, Trump. Uh, is indicted for fraud and loses the case and is you know is supposed to pay the government millions of dollars. It doesn't matter that his chief financial officer is going to jail. It doesn't matter uh, what the commission, the January 6th commission reported. It doesn't matter. It, nothing matters. Nothing matters. Uh, all his lying, deceiving, uh, all the revelations about how much of a real horrible person and, and really horrible president he was, none of that matters one iota to his uh, committed supporters. 50% uh, of the Republican Party will vote, it seems, for Donald Trump, no matter what Donald Trump does, including, I think, if he shoots somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue, 
nothing will actually happen. So that is a political, sociological, psychological, an amazing just phenomena. And we should be, all of us should be very scared of this phenomena. Not that I think Donald Trump is going to become a dictator because I don't think he can win uh, an election. I think Donald Trump uh, it, it will lose. I think the great one of the great tragedies of Trump being the front runner is that uh, he might win the nomination, and as a consequence, a Democrat is going to be president uh, starting in twenty twenty four. So uh, that's one of the many bad things about uh, Donald Trump winning. But what it really suggests is a certain psycho psychology of uh, voters, of uh, supporters who are willing to support him no matter what. And uh, that suggests a willingness and an openness to authoritarianism, um, to a charismatic leader, to uh, the, the, the worship of a personality, the worship of a person. It's not about ideas anymore. It's about the person. And uh, that is a recipe for, um, ultimately, that is a recipe for authoritarianism. Um, and uh, while people are saying they voted the first time, they maybe voted a second time, but they won't vote again for him, if he is the nominee, all of those people will vote for him. But but I also think that, you know, he was a nominee last round and he lost. And there's no question in my mind that he would lose. That is that while he has 50% of the Republicans committed to him, a vast number, you know, of independents, a vast even of, of some Republicans will not vote for him no matter what and either will not vote at all or would vote for a Democrat. And, uh, and that just makes it impossible, I think, for Trump actually to win a nationwide, a nationwide election. So it's sad that the Republicans don't grow up, that the Republicans don't wake up and they don't nominate somebody else because the reality is that I think there are a number of people in the Republican Party today who would make great candidates and who actually would uh, beat a Democrat. I think that I think uh, Democrats, as I said last time, super vulnerable. Biden is not popular, but to beat him, you have to, it has to be somebody other than Trump. Um, and, uh, and we'll see if Republicans are willing to do that and, and, and whether there is anybody. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.